What's up guys? Um, my name's Howie. I'll be showing you guys Days Gone. Uh, we're going to be playing on uh, the hardest difficulty, Survival 2. And we're also, there is no option for it, but we're going to be playing Hardcore, which is uh, if you basically die, uh, like real life, you just got to restart the whole game. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure no one has this, uh, has this type of video up because it's uh, a strange thing, but I don't know. I just, uh, I love uh, challenging myself by guessing games and uh, hardcore games have always been, uh, I've always been drawn to them because it's always, when I play video games, I always just try to be as realistic as possible. So anytime I, I die or make a mistake, I feel like uh, just continuing, like continuing the game is, uh, I don't know, just not rewarding. Uh, so yeah, uh, so if you guys want to check it out, you get to see uh, at the beginning of uh, Days Gone. Uh, I have, I've only played Survival 2 uh, about five hours in without dying. Uh, so I don't really have too much to say on it. Uh, I have a little bit of experience, of course, on the first couple playthroughs. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, also, yeah, survival mode, uh, no fast travel. And uh, there's no heads-up display, although you do get to, um, when you use your little vision thing, you can, it brings up the heads-up display for a, a short amount of time. So that's helpful, I guess. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really know what that ring's about yet. It's uh, quite interesting. I don't really know what it is. Also, this game takes forever to load in when you first start it, and when you first start a new game. It's kind of annoying, but it's all good. Also, I've never recorded anything, ever, really, for uh, gaming. This was my first time. So, uh, forgive me for my horrible commentary. Oh yeah, and my opinion on the game so far is I actually really like it. Graphics are really decent. Uh, the story isn't that great so far, uh, but I'm not going to spoil anything. If you guys haven't played it, you can just check it out in the video. the beginning. Yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning it sick. How you doing, little sister? So stupid. It's this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Hey. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want me to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. Well, what's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why do you got room for two of you? Wait, wait, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. Okay. Come on, help me. Come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her.
Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Yeah, we have. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer, he's never gonna make it without me. Not Boozer. Can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers? Hold up, hold up! But, uh, you laid his bike down! Yeah, thanks. 
Maybe I was wrong about him having to deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. I finally caught up with him. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Shit. All right, let me see. Tracking his wait, wait, wait. Here. Down this way. Tracks are fresh. Kind of like how they do that in the game. How it kind of shows the image of how you think. So where the hell did you learn to track shit anyway? Used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. Boozer, he must be heading down there toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. <laughs> He's not getting far. Come on. Search him. <laughs> Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you know all about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste the bullet, not on her. Hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Keep alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right. No, no. I got it right here. Take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said. Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it! <laughs> Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. We don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. I like how Boozer searched them but didn't find the uh, the paper. There, I guess it's hard to feel paper. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch. Okay. I found a rag and I found some sterilizer. And then we put it together. No, I just gotta put them together and, and put it on. there. Yeah, that ought to do it. Like how they put the band on the arm. I'm gonna be losing the arm anytime soon. Make sure so. you keep that on all, all game. 
Come on, boozy. Oh, we were going hunting tonight. Take some bounty to send it, Tucker. Well, not if it's pissing down rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. Jesus, I gotta get in shape. Gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn it. What? Son of a bitch. Guess that's a fuel line unless you just piss yourself. It's a fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shot up my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything off Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look, let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No, I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here? What? Well, uh, Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's is as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? A map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah, okay. So tomorrow, get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect on Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. You think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Hold on, something's blocking the road. Careful. Saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. Red. Yep. Push! Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you wanna do this? Blow me your shotgun, I'll walk point. Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. Well, I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at him. So holy shit. Goddamn dumbass is the lot of them. What are they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. Trunks and hoods. 
uh, codes will almost always give you scraps, and sometimes they'll even give you like suppressors for your sidearm, like pistol. I'm not sure if it gives you suppressors for anything else. I've only seen it for sidearm. did start, when I first played the game, uh, my first couple times through, I was like, I was picking up almost like everything, like rags, uh, fertilizers. You smell that? Oh, Jesus. Much, mm. There. Come on, let's go. Let me hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Damn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault, but she's dead. Drop it. If you'd gotten on that chopper with Sarah, all that would have changed is you'd be dead too. Look, just drop it. Sometimes there we go. those zombie dudes will uh, do a quick dodge of their head and uh, miss some shots. Shotgun is not to worry too, too much. Or if you're rushing with a pistol or something for a headshot, just gotta be careful. Always be ready to roll in case, in case that does happen. Anyway, like I said, I was picking up a lot of stuff early on. Then I got to a point where I just wasn't getting hit too much, and I just would be full of like bandages or sterilizers, where uh, me searching for stuff kind of just kind of didn't do as much. You're not getting your bike through there. Try that service really tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Also, police cars. So I found always carry ammo. I yeah. haven't seen them carry anything else in them. So always check police cars. Even the SUV police cars have uh, ammo as well. Survival is is really like oh, good. the one bad thing that I don't like about it is that it's really bullet spongy. Uh, so it takes like seven body shots to take down uh, uh, like a zombie, like a normal zombie like that. Uh, whereas the good part about it is that it only takes one hit shot. Uh, but if you get shot, you only take uh, about two three shots max before you're dead. So you're not full of spongy, but you are. So there's parts of it that I do like, parts of it that I don't. But uh, I always just try to aim for the head and play it, like, realistically. So I'm not to get hit at all. Oh, shit. Hey. 
I didn't plan on this, goddammit! So don't freak out on this part. The fire alarms don't go anymore. It's obvious. So it's just like a tutorial that you should be aware of. Cut it out! Alarms. And... Uh, eventually the fire alarm, even if you don't get to it, it'll just go off on its own. I guess. It doesn't take too long. I know one time I was playing around with you guys and I didn't get to the car line and within like maybe a minute it just shut off. So it didn't take long. So these guys oh shit, more freaks! Also, just, just a tip uh, for the beginning part, uh, when I first played through, uh, I try not to use my guns so much, and that's still true, like throughout the game, you always try to preserve ammo, but in the beginning, uh, I realized that you have to give the shotgun back to Boozer after Willy's, and I have never got it back yet in five hours of, in the game, uh, so I I just used all the shotgun ammo and just like killed stuff at Willy's with the uh, with the shotgun because I knew that uh, I could just use the ammo up because I wasn't going to have the shotgun later. So don't be afraid to use the shotgun in the beginning because you just give it back. Another nest. Oh, Ugh. yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many Molotovs you got left? Oh, you just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. This will just take a sec. That'll do it. Also, if you're a uh... If you're looking for Molotovs, don't always try to make bandages. Ready? If you have like three or four, because sometimes you just find bandages pre-made, and you'll be missing rags that you use for bandages to make Molotovs. So I always just try to like keep the bandages on me. Hey, come on, get on. Rags and stuff. Yeah, okay, give me a sec. I'll have them ready to make Molotovs. Because there's been times where I just didn't have rags. Because I spent them all on just keep crafting bandages. So yeah, just always be observant of that as well. I got this place going right. No, I did not. Alright. So we got a bunch of ammo, we got 29 pistol ammo, we got uh, 12 shotgun ammo. I've been thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. Freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. Thinking, and I already know it's a bad idea. For like a you just 
It's right exactly out like through. a muffin with all You'll this. You pull as many of them off as you can. Side. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. Shit. All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. How do you stick in such a business? Has saved the day. Thank you, them away. Go on. Get out of here, you little shits. Uh, these guys. Uh, I died here before because I got injured. See, I'm already at 67 health. If I go close to them, see how they're all just like waiting for me. If I get anywhere near them and I'm and I'm injured. Uh, they'll jump on me and literally one shot me. They'll just like jump on my back and I won't be able to get them off and I'll just die. So always just make sure you're full health when you approach them. Or when you're playing on just like killing them. Always make sure you're full health in general. Uh, there's a weapon there. Uh, just check your surrounding. When it's rain, when it rains, uh, it can move a little bit faster than normal because of uh, the rain and the ground footstep noise. So you can literally just speed crouch all the way up, sneak attack, and you can kill. So the optional objective here uh, is not only to find the fuel pump for your bike that Leon blew off, but uh, also do the optional objectives for XP, and just cause, why not? Uh, just... Okay. Yeah, that's right. Stay up there, and we'll get along just fine. So, we're still missing a beer bottle to make another Molotov. We have one nest here. And, see that dirt on the outside of the truck? There's a nest inside the truck as well. So we'll go up here, we'll kill these little guys. XP. When I first came up here, I think the game wants you to use the melee here. Uh, to learn to use the melee, that's why they gave you the little guys and the melee weapon right next to each other. But uh, these guys are actually kind of scary because there's like six or seven of them at once. So as soon as you get up here, they all just come forming. And see that? They actually jumped off the roof. That was my mistake. Usually if you jump off to the next level, they won't hit you, but I jumped off too late. So instead of trying to bat them all down with my wooden plank, plus it's really hard on survival too, because it takes like probably six hits. I don't think they'll jump on you if you stand here. It takes like six hits for one of them to go down, and then you got five of them just waiting to pounce. So you don't really want to risk it. Plus, like I said, you got a bunch of shotgun ammo. Just get up here, lure them. One down, two down. They're weaker than the normal guys. Come on! Uh, it still takes about four, four body shots or so with a pistol to get them down. So if you headshot people and kill them with a the headshot, you get more XP. And stealth kills... I'm not sure, I think stealth kills are either the same, but might even be more than a headshot. I'm not sure. I feel like they should be more. Uh, some melee weapons? Uh, this dual leg, as you can see on the bottom, is the same damage and durability as the weapon that I have, as the flank that I picked up. But Survival 2, you lose durability really, really fast. I haven't played on any other difficulty, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't go down as fast as it does here. 
uh, it takes like maybe 15, 12 to 15 swings for a weapon to break. And it takes like, you can probably kill maybe two or three enemies max with a weapon before it breaks on survival too, as far as regular zombies are concerned. Uh, I'll show you guys here. See how, see how, uh... Alright, so we don't have booze, booze man to back us up. So I usually just throw a Molotov, wait for them to come out. And I usually just try to hide. Uh, they don't really know where the bomb came from. And I'll wait for them to split up if there's more than one, obviously. And try to get lucky with the sneak. Hopefully he doesn't turn around on me. Just got him. And just get the other dude. Where you at, weed? So you don't actually have to chase him down if you don't want to. But, uh, I kinda want to. Let's see. Okay. So, I'll show you guys the, the wooden weapon. Sometimes if you roll towards them. Oh, okay. So, what did I have? I have like three hits, three hits with the weapon, three hits and it's 90%, so we're good at math, I'll figure that one out. So it should be at 70%, yep. So three times 10 is 30. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna do math. Multitask. So yeah, 30 hits. Which you'd think would be good, but as you can see... Okay, there's my <laughs> binoculars. If you, have, if you hit up on the D-pad, it up with the binoculars. Sometimes I do it by accident. Because it's up hitting L1 and... Whatever. Alright, so 50%. I killed basically one guy and three hits on another guy with my weapon and it's already halfway broke. There is skill points that you can unlock. Uh, actually it's one of the very first skill points you can unlock uh, in the melee skill category, which I'll show you here. And it's called uh, Ability to repair melee weapons with scrap. So all the scrap that you get from cars, all the scrap that you get from slaying around, you can uh, repair your, uh, your weapons, which helps, but it still does break over time. I'm not really sure how it works. Uh, but uh, if you're not paying attention, uh, your weapon can still break on you. And there's no one who gets to show when, like, how bad the weapon's breaking. You just have to be self-aware. So I did read that it will still break, that when you repair it, it just, like... I totally had that sneak kill, but I didn't show the crap. Left on the group how do you heal? Hit R3 to see your health. If you're in battle, you can always slow time and make them slightly. Let's see if my left breaks here. I feel like it will. Okay, there we go. So broke, durability meter, the break and the fail easily. Make sure you pay attention to weapon durability. Just blink and right icon. That comes up before, which I didn't, I didn't see it there, and I don't think I've ever seen it. 
also, yeah, I don't think it shows on survival. Uh, your, your knife here, though. But it does really, really bad damage. Oh, also, always check inside the nest, because, uh... Actually, this little pile here is, a uh, it's called nest residue, which I can't pick it up now, but once you get further in the story, uh, you'll be able to use these, this residue for, uh, crafting crossbow bolts that, uh, it's like a recipe that you put into your crossbow bolts that makes, um, the people that you hit the bolt with enrage and, uh, fight against another person. I haven't actually used it, but, uh, I have crafted it, but I missed all my shots and I never crafted it again. <laughs> so I haven't actually seen it in, in action. But it's probably pretty fairly early in the game, like within the first couple missions, so you can unlock that. So yeah, always check inside the nest. Because uh, there's pretty much always re nest residue, like there is right here, and you'll and there's always some random stuff, like this one has ammo. The other ones might have, like, I don't know, it's all just random stuff. Another tip, they when they're eating, they're really distracted. So sometimes if you just kill somebody and there's others around, one or two will get distracted by the corpse and feed on it. I don't know how like fast they do that, uh, or how close they have to be to the corpse to do it, but uh, anytime they're feeding, they're really distracted, you can get almost... You can probably get from here to the dumpster away. Uh, from like face to face and they won't notice you. So it just gives you room to move around and stuff. We'll use that to get your advantage. Always check, I always just check every nook and cranny. Got a, a new melee weapon, baseball bat. Check out this fridge. Sterilizer, more bandages. So if you do jump out this window and find yourself this guy feeding. And you'll find a Molotov here. Which is helpful because we still have two more nests left. And yeah. Got another bottle. Oh, there's nothing on the roof, but you can come up here and get an like, aerial view. This is like the motel area, or the garage over there. And yeah, it's like three or four in there, maybe. So we'll go back down here. Make sure we got everything in there. Jump out through this window. That's where we just were. We were trying to get out of Stuff goes are always just so rewarding to me. Uh, that's the uh, safe combination. That's the door to the outside. I'm not going to open it, but just so you know. And that's the door to the hotel. You have to be careful though, because they can still see you through the open windows. So always just stay crouched, naturally. Get into the little cootie hall here. In the safe, we find a 
a tractor. Which is similar to a rock, just distractions, but uh, it's, it's noisier. I guess it's just like, I'm not actually sure what it even is. Kind of like a firecracker only, it's like, here, let's just try it. And it's like, it's just like noise. I'm gonna waste a Molotov here. Molotovs are, uh, sometimes they don't kill them, like now. Sometimes they'll kill one, maybe not the other. So I'm just gonna show myself here. Yeah, I am. These are, like, fairly weak now. So if he comes in, probably just, like, one hit. Down you go! Oh yeah, also, every time you kill kill them, you get ears. I don't know if you guys have seen that in the bottom left. Uh, which later on, like when you unlock uh, camps, you can trade in the ears for like money and like uh, like trust. It gives you like trust for the camp to unlock different tiers to unlock more gear. Uh, always watch out for this blinking red light because that means the car has a trap. Or not a trap in a lock. Just for the sake of doing it, because I'm an idiot. I'll show you what it does. I haven't figured out a way to disarm the alarm. Damn it, all the hell. I mean, obviously, like, Heard enough out of you. I was trying to figure out a way to uh, disarm it. And it's not that vital. Like, those guys are pretty close and I didn't hear it at all. Just in the general vicinity. I think it was if you're just like unnoticed and you're trying to stay unnoticed. You should avoid it entirely. There's a person in the Pretty gruesome. Kind of feel bad doing that. Although the one one run through, I opened this trunk and they were in this one. So I, honestly, I think it's whatever trunk you open first of these two cars that's got persons in there. So just watch out. For and also the 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 button in which you press to get out of the grapple always changes, so you, you're not already spamming the button as soon as you get grappled, which I kind of like. And yeah, luckily we've had enough to make two more Molotovs. So I was able to have a spare one to throw from that, uh, when I jumped out that window and found that spare right one that I needed for that group of enemies. So now I have the exact number of Molotovs to destroy the last two nests before having to travel further in to find more ingredients. So. There you go. Um, also, during the day, the, the freakers aren't out because uh, they like sleep during the day. So there's more freakers in the nest during the day when you when you burn them then there are in the nest at night because all of them are already out of the nest so it's up to you what you want to do they say like it's better to do the nests at night so you don't have to deal with a horde of zombies coming out of the nests these guys are gone already easy go get out of my car Uh, yeah, so I always, it depends, like, early on, obviously, like, right now, in the first section of the game, these nests are kind of small, and I guess it's just because it's tutorial, you don't have a billion of them coming out. Most of every really seem to come out of one, within the five hours of playing, was maybe, like, five, but I'm pretty sure, like, the further you go in the game, more come out. So I honestly recommend 
I don't even know what I recommend. I like hunting during the day, so they, there's not a billion zombies on the roofs and a billion zombies from the area that you're trying to clear out nests, so I'd, I'd rather fight a bunch of zombies at once than continuously fight zombies one by one by one by one by two by two by two. And they, they do say that zombies are stronger and more aggressive, so not only are you fighting the more sweet just to get to the nest, but you're fighting them more fast and more aggressive and stronger. I believe it's easier to go nest killing during the day. Well, like I said, just use a shotgun. Oh, I'm there. Don't get a melee weapon. Try to speed this up a little bit. Usually there's only one thing in the nest, so you don't have to search crazily. I haven't found anything more than just one item in the nest. Other than the nest residue and the item. Toilets are so clean. I just realize that. Out of everything else, they're super clean. Anyway. And I'm pretty sure saw blades, <laughs> you'll be able to use them once you unlock a recipe for them. I haven't yet. I have unlocked the nails to put in a weapon. That's it for weapons. Like I said, I haven't got very far. Uh, and like, I've seen nails lying around before, like boxes of nails, and uh, wasn't able to pick them up until I got the recipe to use them. So even in this early starting area, you can't have saw blades. Uh, because it's an open world, you can always just come back and explore later. This is also a popular stopping spot for gas, uh, so exploring here again wouldn't be... Uh, crazy thing to do. So that's why I think there's saw blades and stuff here early on. Um, there's a police car here and a police car over there. It's not really vital that you, like, you can only carry, uh, I believe, uh, like, how many rounds can I? Yeah, you can only carry, uh, 30 rounds of ammo in your pistol. Um, and I believe 30 rounds of your primary weapon as well. Crossbow you can carry 10. 10 max. So sometimes getting ammo from these cars isn't really, if like you might just be maxed out in ammo. So you might, it might not even be worthwhile to do it. But for XP sake and because we're getting rid of Gooser's shotgun later because he's stingy. We're just gonna beat people up, get some XP, hope we don't die. I'll try to preserve it somewhere. Oh. Well, sometimes we do do that, we we'll miss the jump and fall. It's super convenient. Reload does take a little bit of time. Also, if you wound them pretty bad, and you want to save, yeah, so like literally one swing. But if you wound them pretty bad with a, a gun, you can just do it out of there. Give me that lock, boy. So you only got one pistol ammo, so I feel like I feel like I just like want to use my pistol ammo now before I get this police car. Just so I can... Buddy. Missed. Also, see how the reticle moves bigger and smaller? See how they douse that? Alright, oh, a headshot. I thought that was a headshot. That was a headshot, apparently. Okay. Okay, there's a headshot. But it's a little late. Anywho... 
Oh, also, if you guys, there's stuff here behind this truck, and if for whatever reason you do want to bat down those little newts, there's an extra wooden plank 2x4 here that you can get once the other one breaks. I know this area like the back of my hand because I've done it like 10 times because I've died so much. Some of it's trial and error, and some of my dust was just like... Like I just got lazy. Or I was just like too anxious to get a mission done that I just like... Forgot that I was a living human being, and if I died it would... I'd actually die. It's just a part of video games where you just lose the immersiveness because you get lazy. Yeah, always. Also these... Always keep an eye out for plants. I have no idea what the plants actually going, do. I know the one plant make you can make air. Still gotta find a way in the Willie's garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Well, hurry your ass up! I rode past one of those. Uh, how, what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Rippers put up. Sigils. Yeah, but it means they're up here somewhere. Um, let's see, I have a max of, I believe that's scraps, and we haven't really found a use for scraps at this point in the game, so literally salvaging can of fuel. any hoods from this point on is pretty much useless, because there's no way to spend our scraps, so it's just a waste of time. Uh, I still haven't found a suppressor yet from the hood, that's kind of weird. These gas cans are uh, vital. Uh, for your motorcycle to fill up because you lose gas really quick and you don't want to run around like run out of gas on your motorcycle and also for uh, there's a little guy over there but you can't throw them very far that's yeah. the only thing but if you do throw them you can do this and be like oh. okay I'm, that, that was hard and then they explode so you can lure people you know you know how it works so those barrels also explode. I get some horrible shooting right now. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't. We're good. Alright, so we made it to Willie's Garage. I'm not going to harvest or salvage any of these hoods. Get this plant real quick. Like I said, I don't know what the plants are for, but I know the big plant. Uh, it's like a it's like a bush, really. You cut it off to get. Uh, I guess I guess to, to thick sticks from it to make arrows for your crossbow. That's what I thought. And uh, the other the other plants you can yeah, sell right. to the kitchen at the camp for uh, money and. And trust, kind of just like the ears and the stuff that you get from these guys, you can sell. You can also sell meat and stuff from uh, the animals that you kill in the wilderness for trust and money. So always just pick up, just just always pick up uh, plants and stuff when you see them. I can't see anything right now. Oh my gosh, that was lucky. Flashlight is like not shining at all. Oh, now it's. Oh, hold on. I also turned my brightness down. Uh, I guess I technically set it the way it's supposed to be. But uh, before it was just like. And even, even afterwards. Oh, wait a second. I, s I still have room for scrap. Okay. So I'm an idiot. I did get the. Uh, when that, when that hood that I popped up earlier said max, what it meant max was sidearm suppressor, uh, like silencer for it, and I didn't realize that I got one already from the hood, so I'm actually not maxed out on scrap, I was maxed out on suppressor.